Alt 92.3. It's a complete myth that people don't want that. It, it's less common because the model is three minutes. It takes someone's attention for three minutes. So, so, so the mod, so it's, it's promoted that that is what we do. So that's what happens. So people don't put as much attention into making records. So they're, so they're rarer long form records that people will sit down and investigate, but people sitting down to invest a long amount of time in one particular body of work is going on more than it's ever gone on ever. Like TV is the perfect example. You know, we moved out of the way that people can only deal with a narrative that lasts for half an hour or maybe half a series. Or now, like post Sopranos and nowadays, and like your all of your big Breaking Bads and your whole big thing, these are like literature level narratives, like War and Peace, like Dostoevsky style, big big narratives that people will happen. I mean, Game of Thrones. That's exactly. There's a whole mythology that you can dive into that I thing. would that have the books on the shelf, the show on the television. I mean, exactly. And it's you not, immerse yourself. Yeah, it's, you immerse yourself, and that and there's no there's that's not not wanted. You know, people be like, oh yeah, albums aren't really happening that much. You know what I mean? Like, but apart from Damn, it's like yeah, but apart from like, this is what we that's what I'm talking about. That, that that's still the best thing, right? Out of all the singles, we all agree that that's better than like all the singles and stuff and Blonde and, you know, we still talk about records. They're just a bit rarer. But like, and I, and I don't make records because I'm a dinosaur. I just make modern records because I'm a modernist and the form doesn't need to change. No. But there is when we talk about genre because pe human beings love to classify things, right? Mm -hmm. If we can stick a label on it, we feel intelligent. We mm -hmm. feel like we can go, okay, I know what that is. Mm -hmm. But every little piece of a brief inquiry, I tried, uh -huh. uh, into online relationships sounds like it comes from a different musical place. Yes. And so how does that affect the work as a whole? For you, when there's so many different genres that come together to form a whole. Well, the idea is, like, I suppose the millennial attitude to the consumption of music is the same attitude that it is to the creation of music for me. So the, the lack of rules that stop you from going Joni Mitchell on in the headphones to Godspeed, Blackout, or I don't know, ASAP 12, ASAP 12E or whatever you're listening to. There's no, there's nothing within, nowadays, not really anything within you. There's no tribalism. There's no societal pressure. There's, there's no, nothing to stop you from doing that. It's just the way that we are now. It's the same with making it. But I suppose that the way that I think about it is that it's like, well, how do you, and maybe why does it go from like, you know, like jazz? Or, but it's because it's like, the example I always use is like a magpie, right? Magpie, it will pick up, pick up a diamond if it finds it, or a piece of glass, or like a used piece of tinfoil. Like, as long as it's shiny, it doesn't matter where it comes from. So my shiny is like beautiful, normally major key melody. That's normally what it is. Like, and it can be in the right hand of a jazz piano part, or it can be a teenage fan club song. Or like, it, it doesn't, it, as long as it gives me the set, oh, that's beautiful. That's all I need to want to replicate it, you know?